Hey guys, and uh, we're back today, and for our code and project this week, we're going to make ourselves a chat room. So this is going to be our chat room client, and I'm hoping to take this over possibly three episodes, where this episode we're going to do the client, the next episode we're going to do the server, and then the next episode we're going to do securing the communication between them all. So stay tuned for that. Right, so we're going to start with our, our client. So you're going to need a memo. Um, I've just basically started a uh, an application. And you just want to drag it out. Um, we're going to need a menu. This is something we don't, I, I don't often use um, because we're going to need a few features. So we're going to put file in the corner. The next one down, we're going to put a dash and we're going to leave empty the next one down we're going to put connect the next one down we're going to put a dash and the last one we're going to have exit um, and then we also need a disconnect and so if you drag the disconnect up it will sit there um, and then we're going to have an about which I'll fill in after I've finished this so basically what we're going to have is this um, now that that's filled in, we can move that up. Um, you want to leave enough space so we can get a label in there. And then we want to have an edit down here. Um, so we can type things in. Like... So. And then you're going to want a button in the corner. I'm sorry guys, I'm kind of rushing this because uh, I'm trying to keep these tutorials to 10 minutes. So we're going to have our button in the corner. Um, yeah. Uh, we want a label, don't we? So stick our label here. This is going to be chat room state. Uh, chat room. We're just going to do that. And then we need another label, which is going to tell us whether we are connected or not. So by default, we're going to disconnected, and we also need a TCP socket. Um, so we want the client because we're in the client today. Right now, we need to rename everything. So this has to become um, connection status. Um, label this is going to become our we're going to leave that as one we don't need to name the name this needs to be named here and we're going to be this message edit and this one is going to be our send button so we want to remove the btn on the end and save it. Right, so now we need to click on our menu. We need to click on connect. And this is where we're going to put comment connect. connect. And then we're going to go back to our form. And to save time, we're going to double click on this. And we're going to click on disconnect. And we're going to put a disconnect. Um, and then we're going to click on exit. And we're going to put exit. We're not going to do the about. I'll do that myself. It's just going to be a message box anyway. Right, so for this one, we need to do TCP client one dot. It's called client one, isn't it? ID TCP. So that's my mistake. TCP one dot disconnect. Happy days. Now here, what we want to do is we need, um, that's actually a point, we need another message box. We need another ed an edit box. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to stick that here. If we can get it in between the two without it looking too bad. So nifty trick for you guys, if you hold the control button, uh, you can edit. 
the position of an object uh, without looking at to the grid markers. So this is going to become a host and this is going to become our host name edit. Like so. So now we're going to go back and we're going to jump straight back in because we don't need to click the button anymore and we're going to do id tcp client dot host no client one dot host is equal to our uh, da, 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 what did we name it host name edit dot text like so and then um, I'm going to set the port to a fixed port um, so for this we're going to use 1200 and oof, we're going to go up the string um, and then we need to do an id tcp client one dot connect there you go this should really be in a try in case we have faults and here in our accept uh, we should put a show message um, unable to connect to host um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put the two dots in we we'll come over here and we're going to do our host name edit dot text so you know which host you failed to connect to so we're not going to free it because it being a defined object in the GUI, it will get created and freed by the GUI handler. Happy days. Um, now we need to come back to our main form and we need to do our send. But before, we're going to put send message here. Like so. What time are we at? We're at seven minutes. We've still got enough time. And we're going to go to unit. I'm going to save it as our message config like so and if you've watched any of my videos we're going to use constants to define message types so um, we're just going to call it general underscore message um, feel free to screw around with these and do what you like uh, we're going to use the character 01 and then we're going to have a delim which is a delimiter and we're going to use this so that's pretty much all we need so far um, general message we're going to put all um, because you might might want to send it to just one person um, but you will deal with that later so we need our general message, so we need to come here and we need to do id, we need to do an if id tcp client one dot connected, which is our boolean. This will tell us if we're connected or not, we want to begin. And what we want to do is our id tcp client one dot, okay, I spelled that wrong. dot socket dot right we're going to use right line and we're going to do our general message plus the delim plus the current contents of our message so we named it message edit and you need to call the text feature now don't worry about these these um, they, they're not too bad um, we need to put in here our message config like so and they'll disappear um, I'm going to leave a section here blank oh no we're not we're just going to do it um, 
So here we need to do an if id tcp client one dot connected. Um, then we need to begin. And here's where we're going to do our read. So we're going to hold a variable. We're going to hold a variable called last message. Which is a string. Oh, actually, no, we're not. We're going to hold a variable called message uh, called I. And what we're going to do is when we create this, we're going to set I to zero like so. And then we're going to do a while connected uh, while ID. Actually, no, we're going to get rid of that. And we're just going to do a while. So we put a begin in again and it will get rid of that error. I'm going to take this back to there. Take that back to there. So our ID TCP client one dot um, connected, which is there. Do so it will do a loop. And what we want to do is we need to check if there's any incoming messages. So we're going to do ID TCP client one dot socket dot read line and this is going to reply our message so we need a message variable like so and so we do here like that and then we're not actually going to need I, so if message string is anything other than empty memo one dot lines dot add message string. Uh, we're going to close that off and then we're going to set our message string to blank. Like so. And then just to make it slightly better. We're going to put a sleep of one millisecond in behind it. And that pretty much does it for this episode. I've gone over the time, but I wanted to get the client done in one go. So this is our simple setup. I will try it before I release the server and if there's any modification required. Um, when I release the client and the server in the server video, which is coming up next Thursday. Um, that will be the... It will be the 3rd of May. I will modify it. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, until next time. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode of Coding the Server and so you can get your source code. Also, don't forget that we are adding encryption to this uh, third video, so stay tuned.